Hello everyone, welcome back to Recap. I'm Christina. Today, I'm going to talk about the South Korean science fiction action film called Hunters. Let's enjoy until the end. At the beginning of the movie, Little Choi's mother makes him well a blindfold to suppress his mind control ability. As the two are abused by Choi's father, Choi compels the man to commit an unthinkable act. Choi's mother subsequently tries to murder her son, but Choi stops her and runs away. He grows up in contempt for society, making liberal use of his power to steal money from businesses and live in a hotel room. Chunam works at a scrapyard alongside an international crew, including his best friends Ellie and Bober. He is hit by a car right before his body, but makes an unusually quick recovery. However, he loses his job at the scrapyard in the meanwhile. While he is looking for a job, he finds employment at Utopia, a pawn shop owned by Zhang Shi. Zhang Shi explains that many has been missing from the pawn shop recently, but the thief has been caught on CCTV. And he gives him an electric device to defend if someone comes. Junan befriends Zhang Shi's daughter Yang Su. One day, while his friend Ellie and Bobber visit his new workplace and are talking, Chuan arrives, paralyzing everyone present. And he manipulates Zhang Shi into giving him money. To Chuan's surprise, Kyunan receives his influence and attempts to stop him. Chuan uses the others to overpower Kyunan. Kyunan is stabbed in the back and electric cue. Why Zhang Shi gets his head trapped between iron bars at the counter and suffocates. Zhang Shi and Junam are taken to a hospital where doctors are unable to save Zhang Shi. But Junam recovers almost immediately. On the other hand, Choin thinks about why he can't control only Junam. Blaming Choin for Zhang Shi's death, Junam resolves to bring the psyche to justice. With the help of Ellie and Bober, he breaks into Utopia's back room to recover the CCTV tape with Choin's appearance. At that time, a moral people controlled by Choin suddenly enters and follows them. So, they quickly run away. Back, Junam goes back to the room to get the tape, so he is separated from his friends. Although his friends escape, he takes the tape and hides on the rafters of the house so that Choin doesn't see him. Hearing his footsteps, Choin sees him and controls the crowd to catch him. But Junam managed to escape the crowd, drives a car and tries to confront Choin. While Choin panics and runs away, Junam chases him. As Choin has no other way to run, he tries to control a person throwing garbage on the street to harm Junam. Junam turns on the car headlights just in time to prevent Choin's control and gets out of the car. Then he asks, why did you kill my boss? At that moment, Choin avoids being directly hit by the lights of the car and controls others to force them to attack Junam. Junam electrocutes Choin again, covers his face with a plastic bag and takes him to the police station. At a police station, he requests the police to see the CCTV tape and informs that he is the culprit and he can control everything with his eyes. But the police do not believe him and when opens Choin's face, they are all being controlled and one of the policemen tries to shoot Junam. Junam resists the police and starts chasing after Choin who runs away. Choin goes to the metro station and controls to stop all the people from the entire metro station. But he can't control the infant. And Junam has an argument with him. And when Junam approaches him angrily, Choin again controls the crowd to restrain Junam. When Junam manages to escape and runs to him, he takes control of the infant's mother and forces her to throw her child into the path of the oncoming train. Junam saves the child, but is dragged by the train and dies right in front of Choin. However, he recovers from his wounds once more and meets Ellie and Bober. They agree to help him hunt down Choin. Ellie modifies an old van and constructs a fail gun with the intent of countering Choin's ability. 
Both Junam and Chuen can enter investigation by the authorities due to the incidents that happened at the police station. Authorities sent a team to search Chuen's hotel room. Chuen murders the investigators and leaves the apartment, taking with him only a tri figurine of a young man. Then he robs a bank with his mind control power and visits his mother, who is also being questioned by the authorities. Chuen kills the officers, but is unable to take his mother's life, instead, leaving her with a large sum of money. Junam confronts Chuen in an apartment complex where Chuen mocks him and forces several people into taking their own life to torment Junam. Finally, he releases them and leaves them with Junam. Outside, Ellie and Bobo attack Chuen with the flare gun, but it proves ineffective and they are captured. Junam searches for Ellie and Bobo who have gone missing and eventually he goes to the pawn shop where he used to work in Utopia, and there he discovers Ellie and Bobo hanging from the rope. Suddenly, Junam is ambushed by Choin, who hangs him alongside Ellie and Bobo. Even though Junam begs him not to do such things again, Choin controls the seats below from his friends to fall and also kiss his seat and plans to hand them all to death. While they struggle, Junam manages to drop a knife from above and cut their ropes, but cannot save his friends in time. As Choin leaves the room, he notices Yang Su coming to their room, controls her and takes her as hostage. Junam sees him and Yang Su, he starts driving and follows behind him, but Choin controls Junam's van to Ma Fanshin. A moment later, Choin's vision begins to blur and he crashes into a car. He gets out of the car and sees Junam's van coming towards him, so he controls all the cars and causes a large traffic accident to stop Junam. However, Junam survives as Ellie's and Bobo's operations instruct him to activate a speed booster in his van installed there by Ellie. Choin takes Yang Su hostage and controls to stop everyone else and tries to shoot Junam with a gun, but his eyes are blurry and he can't focus. So he goes to the rooftop of the building with Yang Su. When Junam arrives at the rooftop, he doesn't see Yang Su, so he punches Choin. At that time, Choin shows Junam that he has controlled Yang Su and forces her to jump off from the other building. As Junam tries to stop Yang Su, he gets shot by Choin, who tells him that he will have to die if he wants Yang Su to live. Junam distrusts Choin by suddenly asking for his name, causing Choin to lose control over Yang Su. In that moment, Junam pushes him and jumps with him below, and they both fall onto a parked car. Choin is killed by the fall, while Junam once again lives. He notices Choin's try figuring and reflects on whether in different circumstances the two of them could have been friends. At a metro station, a quadriplegic Junam who uses a Wite meets up with Yang Su, who has fulfilled her dream of becoming a flight attendant. Meanwhile, a little girl lying down on the train tracks, so Yang Su and many people in the metro station are shocked. But fortunately, she is rescued in the nick of time by Junam, who seems to have made another miraculous recovery. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. That will you will know every time a new video is uploaded. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.